Bila me. Pardon, my name is Phil. Alright, so anyway. Yeah, what is it? What it is, man? I went to New Jersey yesterday briefly for like a couple hours. You know, a lot of cars around, a lot of people designing, a lot of, lot of well-designed vehicles just kind of doing the whole fucking tipping tour. So nothing really going on, I'm just saying. Uh, it's not a thing for everything to be like a stipulatory culture. Like, you guys are playing these fucking pageants of, uh, you know, this, this sort of waltz of marching and all this fucking pageantry and chicanery. You just got to be somewhere telling the truth. I don't know what to tell you. By the time we do that, you realize, shit, there's definitely always more arrests than there are real solutions, you know? Uh, like I said, I don't really rely on law enforcement or the police to do much for me. I see them all the time. They never have real stories, so... By the time you see them, they're, they're, they're acknowledging that they don't really honor directors from Marvel's Avengers. They don't really pay for shit, but they're still looking for, like, small tickets and fines. They're trying to shake people down for the dumbest shit, so... Don't feel bad for these uh, these guys, man. Um, uh, political... The body political admits that they'll, they'll abuse information. They'll even promote secrecy. To even sabotage things that they actually pay for. Amazing. So... Anyway, I'm going to talk today about a couple of other things I need to confess. Because like I said, you know, I need to make sure I'm accountable for the work I do and the things that have been happening in my life that are large structural problems. Um, things I either caused or things that are ab about me or things that happened to me. Not even stuff that happened to me. I could put that hurt in perspective uh, or even those victories in perspective. But there's like a lot of systemic depravity because technology isn't always reported well. And you guys abuse these communities, right? So... Give me a second. I'm going to try to keep this video short. So today is September 24, 2020, right? Um, I'm in a story in New York right now. So BIOS is a big one, right? Um, motherboard software, that's actually firmware. Um, because I work at Intel, we always have motherboards paired with our CPUs. We write firmware and software for everything. Not just me, but the whole development staff and all the engineers and scientists that do this work. These guys are very advanced. Most of the, everything from video games you have to consoles to the televisions you use, you really wouldn't get that technology running without even the most basic stipulation in firmware, which, which for us, the ones we mostly use is BIOS. So BIOS actually, one of my peers told me that BIOS itself, even when I was a minor, and I didn't really understand this enough, BIOS itself, um, right, which is firmware from other boards, that, that terminology, that technology, actually we think started several wars. Yeah, because I was a miner, and they told me, you know, keep an eye on this industry. We think that they're, they're, they're using our, the tech and the nomenclature for the tech we make to start step wars. Because if you can integrate infrastructure with uh, technology, uh, everything from the way people move to the things they do. Now, I'm not just talking about smart homes. I'm talking about your vehicles, your roadways, everything around you being a smart device, which is what was traditionally back then called the Internet of Things, right? Which is that your devices are smart enough to communicate with each other and help you and, and, and the methods they employ solve problems, right? So a lot of that is about BIOS technology. BIOS has been around since probably the 1980s, in fact. You know, we've been using it in everything from the old Neo Geo and Atari consoles to now the more modern Microsoft Windows um, PCs. Every, all the, a lot of the personal computing devices use BIOS, even if they use other operating systems. You see? So BIOS is a big one. Um, I got shot in my high school in the library there in Pomfret, Connecticut. Uh, at a high school called Pomfret, a boarding school about nanotech. Um, I wanted to learn more about nanotech. I wanted to make sure I understood it well because it was, it, was, it was playing heavily in my life, but there was no real reason for me to be anywhere honoring technology that you guys were abusing me for and you were not paying for. You see? They were even trying to say, you know, get yourself a job at NASA. Try to help us build drones, rovers, um, you know, magnetic levitation vehicles, anything you want. Just, just, just try to stay within the loop of those, this larger firm. I was in high school. I'm like, look, I can't even get through fucking high school. I have no money. I have no doctor. I can't even probably get a diploma. They were trying to keep me sick and stupid at that university, right? And lying persistently about the work they did. So, uh, nanotech was a rough one. I got shot in the library at Pomfret High School because I was just opening a book about nanotech. I want to discuss it. But that was kind of a weird year. People were coming to that, un that little high school and trying to figure out like what different ethnic groups or kids wanted. They actually separated me from the rest of the student body, and they just used that opportunity to try to kill me. So that's what I'm saying. Fuck those losers. Y'all didn't do shit. All right, fuck out of here. All right. Another one is Bryce 3D. Um, Bryce 3D was a program. It was actually really basic, sort of like 3D landscape program. You can make like randomly generated mountains and like rivers and like basic orbs, and and then you could render it. It was a really slow program. It took a while because back in the early and mid 90s, computers were really really sluggish. But Bryce 3D was kind of one of the inception companies that ended up kind of migrating into Google. Not really Microsoft. Microsoft, Microsoft is a very abusive cult. Most Americans are not responsible with technology. Uh, you guys have to be somewhere lying to get your respect. Right? I just hold it down for the realm of the real and tell the fucking truth, you see? So Bryce Studio was a different one. That was an early development software um, that was used to um, 
excuse me, that was used to, um, uh, that was part of the eventual formulation of better technology and, and better design companies, you know, so Bryce 3D led to everything from Maxon, Cinema 4D, Autodesk, um, you know, everything from Blender now to Alias, Maya, I mean, uh, these companies run away extortion props, that's the thing, when you work in Intel and Microsoft, you actually have to have several firms you make, because the corporate uh, software firms around you, they'll try to abuse it just off the strength that I don't have money and I don't pay for security, so that's what I'm saying, they're militarizing um, you know, the counter narrative, which is that they want to racialize tech and, and film and entertainment, and they'll pay everybody, everyone from fucking Harvey Weinstein and Blackwater Security Forum to get their big burnt guns and show up trying to shoot us. I got shot by Harvey. I got shot by many of these, these dullards. The cult they make is they kind of keep you tired, they bring you somewhere, they rape you, they drug you, and they bring you out, they lure you somewhere, and then someone's there to kill you with a gun. That's what I'm saying. Uh, these women are just trying to extort you for sperm, and when they're done, they're going to rape you and torture your relatives again, you see? So they're in these cycles of corruption and sexual abuse and torture. And they plan these decades in advance. If you don't like, if they don't like what you say, they go rape you and make another one. You follow? Train him to get biotech. Train him to do the work that we want him to do. And when we're done, we kill that guy. I, I am just saying, I'm a really good animator, but you guys fell in love with some of the distinct things I've made in film. You just don't want to honor me as a person. That's fine. Fuck out of here. All right. Next, um, Metro Goldwyn Mayer, MGM. I always worked at this company. Um, it might change a little bit, but it's still it's still stipulatory stipulated. And it's, it's not really going nowhere. There'll be MGM after I'm dead, and, and there'll be new artists working there eventually. So I'm saying, Metro Goldwyn Mayer, you want to honor these firms? That's the Lion logo, right? Um, you can't buy or take these things. You got to earn our respect. You got to pay for shit, all right? That's what it is. Still working there. Blockbuster, another bad call. I used to walk into Blockbuster every week, look for a movie I rented. A lot of that was stuff that I published in my family as a kid. My father made some movie, a lot of movies before I was even born. Uh, we kept making stuff as we got older. Many other directors worked at the firms I work with. Everything from Miramax, MGM, I talked about. Cinemax, Showtime. A lot of the main film companies in New York tend to work with us because New York has a film co industry. It does have a film industry, right? It's just you don't see as much because there's too much violence and insolvency and corporate thuggery, right? So remember, like I said, um, I'm going to keep talking. I'll, I'll, I'll mention the rest later. I'm just talking about cults right now, things that are, I'm responsible for and in industries I work in that are stipulating high levels of abuse and corruption. They're lucrative, but they're very dangerous, all right? MySpace.com. That was a Warner Media product. We basically owned that website. It was nice. It was just a very small profile I had. I wasn't really ruling people's egos. But we integrated different types of software. So everyone from artists, anyone that was young and looking to kind of build their resume uh, and enter an industry, they'd have a place to work and a place to tell their story. It was kind of like the old early little on online portfolio cult. Uh, people had like a little profile. They have music. They have like a little built-in music player. You know, they have a couple things that they use. You know, to play music, tell their story, post pictures, talk to their friends. You know what MySpace is, right? Those of you that are real millennials born in the 1980s, even the 1990s, you know what MySpace is. So MySpace, bad bankruptcy. My family's working there. It turned into a violent cult. They tried to kill us. Um, Facebook's formulation was really kind of a bad shooting involving Mark Zuckerberg or some of his fucking loser-ass friends. That's what I'm saying. Don't let men claim that they're in the military and they need, like, a cult to stipulate their wherewithal. They just don't know what the fuck they're doing. See what I'm saying? Especially the Marines. I don't see how they have a real charter. I think they're just completely bereft and lost. But, once again, Army, Navy, Air Force, I, I really don't see what you guys are doing out there as, as a... Uh, maritime mercenary force and you're not even reporting to anyone that really does real business I'm working at Marvel's Avengers I got shot and not paid right I can't I don't have more than ten thousand dollars debit or cash I have no wallet I have nothing I don't get service to any bank in New York right so those of you holding on check shut the fuck up right you should be doing real work which is making sure I get paid for art you stole right next um, like I said Facebook formulation was a scam really just a bad shooting in my high school in Connecticut uh, we had a lookbook of all the students right we had a lookbook of all the students. And it had things like a picture of them, maybe their, their uh, real name and their dorm room phone number, so that way people could get to know each other, right? Well, it, it was a scam. They didn't have that book before I went to the high school, and they kind of used it as a trap, really. But the point I'm making was that um, they called it a Facebook. You follow? That was what the lookbook was. It was a Facebook. It was a book that had everyone's face in it, and it was a way to get to know people, right? Uh, that was turned into a cult because they never really honored Facebook. They, they were just using Facebook to kind of superimpose themselves onto the investment formula of MySpace. They end up trying to shut MySpace down because there's too much violence. And they made Facebook. So Mark Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg is now this fucking PR diva. I told you, watch out for the PR divas in the technology industry. Right? Some of the biggest ones are just fucking fake-ass dollars. They don't want to see black families, black technologies. Anyone that's like a multi, a multinational or diverse person or Asiatic or part of the world that they physically can't rule your ego, they don't want you on TV telling the truth about the work you do, all right? They're going to drug you and keep you sick. That's a lesson there. So if that's the case, and avoid this sort of chicane cult of poorly managed relationships. Go straight to the work that you really do, that you find that is solvent, all right? And fuck with your tribe, the people that actually help you solve problems, not people going around trying to scam you and keep you broke. You fucking heard that, all right? So fuck Mark Zuckerberg. Learn yourself right. 
Uh, what else? Um, GoDaddy.com, another bad one. How are you guys using Google's DNS structure? And we don't even have websites we use to sell this technology, right? You guys made this whole fake chicanery shit. Really good website, GoDaddy, but I'm not getting shot for lies you sold. Um, and, and even Winamp, another bad one, right? You guys know that we make music, right? We need programs to deploy our, our tracks. So Winamp's another one. Just too much violence again and no real money, right? Winamp's supposed to be free, though. GoDaddy, you pay for it. So we got to monetize things that really are earned. Uh, and that's it, man. So... Yeah, I mean, you know. Then the last one is Intel processors. All right, very good company, extraordinarily powerful. We sold, we exported Intel CPUs, everything from PlayStation to other consoles. But you can't have a, mo a monopoly in CPU technology. But we do have to export or import rather from other parts of Asia, Africa, and everywhere else, uh, rare earths, and we use that technology or that those systems to make CPUs. But I, I got shot by some e evil, angry, vagrant uh, woman from Israel. That's what I'm saying. That's why you guys really got yourself lost in the cult. You're trying to get hired at the advanced tech firms we work, and you're trying to keep our, us and our families broke so you can abuse us, right? So you're going to grow the fuck up. I've seen my own relatives do this shit, all right? So Intel CPU is a big one. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, so that's it in, in terms of cults, right? Um, those are the main ones. Those are a couple I, th I could think of today. There's others because I'm, 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 I was one of the early, early investors before the internet really came around and was formulated as a series of compacts and websites. And the way that works is you want young people to be there, uh, you know, engaging with it and making sure that the intelligence of what we do on the net and online uh, actually promotes our solvency. You heard? So we're not fake, stipulating fake shit, right? Uh, you guys got to be somewhere telling the truth, right? You heard that? Everything from your cell phone storage to the work you do is fake. You know, when I walk in, you got to tell me the truth about the work that's being done. So don't be somewhere lying about what you are to someone else, all right? Uh, soon we're going to start taking these companies back because y'all didn't do shit for us, all right? So grow the fuck up. Listen carefully. So look, next thing I want to talk about is uh, the gender divide in corporate. I mean, I'm seeing a whole lot of people on the internet really bragging about consistent corporate thuggery, and you guys never really stipulate real estate. That's what I'm saying. Don't ever walk in a building and know, not know where you own it. Make sure you completely own the building, right? Uh, and then when you're there... Be ready to do security work because they're gonna they, they they physically try to sexually assault even murder and rape artists and technologists. They don't even really have even authors, poets, anything you want, actors, whatever. I do a lot of work in technology. I have to be versatile, you know. But uh, you know, you guys are honored the work you do. That's why we, I had to get nanotech. And then my own mother and her fucking vagrant hussy ass friends uh, tried to mutilate me, right? So just, these women are so evil. There were there were several there were several murders in my community in Lakai. They actually killed my brother, and I didn't know how to help him. That was a very sad period of my life. I didn't know how to help them. Yeah, I was just a kid. And they tried to kill me too. So, um, listen, I'm going to say the women's revival and corporate work, y'all fucking fake, man. Um, don't claim that women's suffrage, especially for Caucasian women, is about you abusing uh, Haitian, Asiatic, and African men. Look, y'all didn't do shit for me, all right? Y'all walking around with logos and phones and shit y'all fucking stole. You ain't got a fucking word, all right? You got mouths to speak. You got eyes to see. You have ears to hear. You have your nose to smell. You have your skin for sensory uh, experiences. Use your real uh, aspects of your body to solve problems. It looks like you guys are getting your entire industry is destabilized and shut down just because I'm actually telling you the truth. You see? I'm telling you after they did all the sonics and my control. They would attack me while I'm sleeping. They'd make fake arrests, druggings. They'd even mutilate my body. You see why we had to rely on advanced technology? Why you guys are stuck and fucked up? You see? So don't get too impressed by your phones and Nike and all the shit you guys steal. Uh, you got to be somewhere telling the truth. You know, it don't fucking matter at this point. I don't even, I don't even benefit from this, this technology, all right? So listen carefully. So that's what I'm saying. The women's co corporate work was really a nasty bankruptcy about crime relative to fashion and the art community that used software uh, and skills that a large part of the economy did not honor. I was at Microsoft Windows the whole time, right? I'm going to tell you what that logo is about. That company is about me and my sister discussing MC Escher. MC Escher had that nice little balloon uh, art he made with a window reflecting on it. And I wanted to learn art as a kid as early as age four or five. I thought it was really impressive and enamoring. I just didn't know where I, where I should work or what type of work I should do. And my family had scientists and engineers. It's just that they said we really want everyone from animators to musicians to kind of keep our, our, our growth within communication more solvent. Right? That's the point there. Right? So like I said, your logos won't save you. Just speak your truest love. Right? Be ready to honor yourself. Uh, things are not what they seem, friends. Be a healthy skeptic. They'll rig uh, the economy so that people that you don't fuck with look expensive and important. Uh, the real work is done by people that you may not see every day, right? Like I said, I'm on the east side of Queens, minding my business. By the time you guys got to be somewhere selling fake or looking squalid, right? So you heard that. Um, well, the celebrity is pretty disgusting. I mean, I'm still seeing women look so expensive. They, they admit that they're sick. They'll actually pay for visual effects artists just to give them a, a, a presence on social media. Y'all ain't doing shit, all right? Grow the fuck up. I, I'd rather see my family and new relatives doing better. I'm just saying, this level of expensive egos you have, you're making all this money. You don't even have a valid reason to use it. You don't even have relationships you like, you see? And the things you buy are basically stolen because you didn't pay the best artists for that technology, you see? So listen up.
his banquet of mental health and insolvency is just expensive egos. I got sick partially because people poisoned me, partially because my family was promoting nutrition distortion everywhere I went. My doctors are fake. There was no real, there's no, not even today there's no real medical work. You're telling me that Wu Blends is basically stuck on fucking Medicaid? Are you fucking for real? You run DMC and all your cults are ridiculous. You know, you're all ridiculous. Everything, all, everything from hip-hop, the tech work, the, the work I do in animation, the directorial work. I even do a lot of smaller projects that you guys never see, right? Uh, all that shit, uh, I hate to say it, but we, we destroy the solvency of your technology. Biotech was the answer. You know, uh, if it was about raw processing power and the ability to actually solve problems, whether I'm using an advanced computer or I'm actually using my nanotech in the cloud, it don't really matter. We got to get our work done one way or the other. But what you guys are proving is that you don't honor consent, right? You pulled out your wallet, you took out that $20 bill, you paid for those movie tickets. You see me now, you'll just give me a dollar, right? Because you know you want to keep us broke and stupid in New York. That's what happened to you, all right? So recognize. We know, we know what y'all doing, right? However, I'm still going to be nice to you. I'm just knowing you admit you're defeated by your own pride, right? I didn't have to hurt you or be selfish for this. Right, you guys want an industry to get better. You want art to be more complex and more engaging. You want to have a place where you can work. You want to have different ways to express your skills, right? So the internet has a lot of tools. It has a lot of ways to do these things, to get to the best outcomes of your truest love. So make sure that when you're ready to really do your work, that you get there and that you honor what's real about you, all right? Don't sell fake fucking shit. That's the answer. Let's see, when, uh, don't let people tell you to remain sick and don't tell anyone. What they're doing is they're trying to use this disease against you, right? If they don't like what you're doing or what you're adding up, they're going to investigate you and they're going to say, now's a better time to kill this person than ever, right? That's what it is. They plan this murder. They plan this banquet of torture, right? So, you know, they, 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 they arrange banquets of... Uh, they plan their weddings and their suicides together, you know? They arrange uh, banquets and sacrifices together, you know, so. Uh, depression is sometimes the best disease they sell to celebrities. They'll keep you guys sick, figure out what health problems you have, and use those to get you to abuse yourself and others around you. I got shot and people made excuses about bipolar disorder. I'm still looking for some young motherfuckers. I got kidnapped and shot. I showed up and I had like, I was drugged. I woke up on a fucking plane. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And they were still drugging me over and over with these sort of spray and these demonics. That's what I'm saying. I'm still looking for some of your motherfuckers. We're gonna solve, solve you, all right? We're gonna season your bra for real. So that's what I'm saying. Don't get stuck in this illegitimate, illegal economy. No amount of vagrancy or money they sponsor you will ever really get you to truest love, right? You're gonna, you're gonna dissolve and languish in that pit of despair because you gotta honor your true self and those around you to have a love that you respect, right? Otherwise, you can never sit down and truly rest and honor your ego and your intention span. You're gonna be suffering all the time, all right? So we're not playing bitch for y'all. Go the fuck up, right? You heard that. Uh, the Israeli community's fucked up. You guys have been systemic terrorists. Um, you don't really have healthy emotions. You're always grappling about your anger and your hurt, but you don't really put healthy relationships first, right? Uh, I don't need this shit, right? Start to speak correctly. Put your hurt in context. You need to be somewhere telling the truth. Not enough of the work you do is valid. And you don't have to lie all the fucking time, right? Get a real story, stay consistent. If you're hurting, make sure that you ask the other tribes to help you. It looks like you guys are promoting disease in everywhere. Remember, you, Hitler was really an Armenian Jew. Remember that. It was really about different problems relative to the Kabbalah and the Septenary relating to some of those older uh, Yehudi Semitic tribes, right? That would basically go back and forth from Europe to Africa. But as, as, as a collective, your contingent didn't make sense in terms of how you related to yourselves and each other. You didn't really know what you were doing. And you have to go places lying, you know, um, to make sure your solvency worked. And you have to go places again to make sure your solvency worked. Right? But you're, you're clever at abusing the banking system. You're clever at abusing the banking system. You know you can extort it for large amounts of money. Now, you, you, you back large estuaries of stolen money, right? And you know what the fuck you're doing, so you got to grow up, right? Honor respect. So, these religious cults and doctrines are vagrant of real causal knowledge, right? You need to honor science at every level of your career. Science is about empirical understanding of reality. Things that are proven real, right? So don't be anywhere lying about shit so you can get a fucking pass, either in court or uh, amongst your family. You actually have to re relate real solutions to your life, right? So don't be places lying over and over about how, how God ordains you to abuse yourself and your peers. Uh, unfortunately, no one gives a fuck about your insolvency. People will tell you whether you're abusing them or not, right? But that's why they're so insecure. They use a lot of their guilt-ridden tech, like drugs and mnemonics and psychosis, to keep you obedient even after they've abused you several times. That's what these rape cults are, especially in fashion and modeling and Hollywood. you got to check these women. They're not really healthy people. They're not. I'm, I'm still single in New York. I don't even have a girlfriend, right? Uh, but notice how many celebrities re leap across the internet to shoot and abuse me off the context of their pride. They still don't know what the fuck they're doing, right? So you got to check these people, right? Don't let them um, literally extort you for money and just to look expensive on the news wherever the fuck they go in and never have a real story, all right? Give me a second. Zoha. 
You know, so we're not we're not selling fake for you, all right? You got to get a real story. I mean, I'm sorry. I took my time with this. I actually did a little expose. A woman recorded me in my old building at Kew Gardens Village Mall. That turned into a shooting. So we're not fucking with y'all, all right? We're going to purge your disease. We're going to settle this shit. And we're going to season your fucking brawl for real. It ain't nothing nice, right? Grow the fuck up, for real. Uh, y'all stealing too much. That's the problem, right? And I'm not selling fake. I got to count real money. I got to keep it moving, all right? Next. Um, you know, that hurt inside. Well, I was talking about the Jewish community. You know, it's, it's a lot of religious communities like this. I'm seeing a lot of the Su Sunni uh, Muslims that you guys were from Iraq. Y'all came to New York and started setting up shop for fake and chicanery again, right? The Iraq war was about advanced tech and art. Even stuff like Porto and like things like Toyota Supra. Another one was, uh, what was the other one? Because uh, I got shot from some of this stuff. Y'all shot this shit at me as you shot me, right? Especially Iraqis. The last one was uh, so super. I talked about... Oh, animation was another one. Things like Dragon Ball. You guys are lost in these vortex about animation. I'm sorry. It's a lot of fun for us. We have to do this work. Uh, you guys don't just buy it. You buy the technology. You buy everything that goes with it. But if it's about shorting the economy, I will not. Art is worth much more than all of you. We really need a place to express our intelligence and the, our best virtues of love. You guys can't even be in places talking about each other's religions. Right? So be ready to handle psychology and linguistics relative to fantasy, you know, because if we have to tell you what's real, you won't be able to handle it. In fact, you guys pay yourselves to lie and abuse each other. That's why you get your kids into these cults early. You train them to recite and do everything I tell you, you know, and you'll make money. If not, you'll get you'll get shot out of a fucking job and put out into the street. That's basically what they're saying. So, um, so we're gonna talk about it, right? So that's kind of what it is. You guys are stuck in older, older cults. You have large amounts of money you backed with everything from torture and fake wars. You don't really know how to resolve that, so you just pay yourself to stick around and look stupid. I'm sorry, friends, but especially the Jews and, and the, the central Muslims of the Middle East, you guys have to really connect to better linguistic skills. Uh, I still see you guys actually lying to each other, You're even teaching each other false things. You're teaching each other false paradigms and lies so you can rule each other's egos. So you guys got to grow up for real. I'm serious. There has to be better outcomes for you than abusing yourselves. And you better connect to the real causal uh, relationships of science and history, right? Remember the etymology. Make sure you understand what terms really mean. Honor your true tribes. Don't let people give you money just to accept disease and abuse. It's not the way this fucking shit works. You're not really good scholars if you're doing this shit, all right? So remember, be scholarly, right? Get to the next level. Um, you know, so language and philosophy are very critical. But most importantly, resonance and reciprocity. Don't carry your hurt. Leave it behind, all right? Figure out why you are struggling and put it in perspective. Don't don't make an entire civilization about mnemonic psychosis and abuse where everywhere you go you have to lie and make excuses for shit that's stipulatorily fake. All right? It's not causally real. It's not connected to reality. Say the word countenance. Say the word empirical. Right? Understand science. Don't get lost. I seen a guy say, I was in the secular world, now I'm in the religious world. What you're saying is they pay you to fucking sell out. All right? Everything is science. If you have the wrong information, it will kill you. Right? Reading a Bible will not save your ass if you got poison. Right? The correct method might. Right? So don't um, don't keep your health problems and your health goals a secret. Tell someone that you're suffering and that you need remediation. It looks like doctors will actually pay you to stay sick and lie about it. And they'll pump you full of drugs until they're done with you. And they'll try to prop up your ego around the notion that if you tell someone you're struggling, they're going to de deconstruct you and break, your down, break you down. It's even so you in court and take everything that you've accomplished. That's not the way this fucking works. Right? This the sheriff's department tried to do this to me a couple weeks ago. If you know what the fuck you're doing, you need to make sure that I do well with the best solutions of my tribe, right? And that I can get a second opinion, that I can connect with my doctors, that I can connect with people that are on parity and with my level of intelligence. So don't go somewhere selling fake for corruption. You all know you're fucked up, right? My own mother's doing this shit. She's disgusting. A lot of her and her peers pay for banquets of torture. They can't even admit that they're career felons. I have several felons in my family that committed murders and shootings. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. You guys can't buy yourself back into Star Wars bankruptcy. I don't even like these movies. I don't even like them, but I got to work. Imagine being in a metal company and having to do that job. See? Imagine being in a technology firm and having to inherit all of your family's customers and having to keep working. See? Honestly, sometimes it sucks. Uh, and keep the Disney cult out. These women don't even do real work. You know, the movies you guys make are not that good. So grow up, right? Uh, I end up having to work at Disney because the best animation firms, you guys can't resolve your films without us. And you still keep trying to cheat yourselves using apps like Quantos and Cloud Development to basically extort me for power. And you'll come around and shoot me if I don't do what you say. So like I said, the world is about the living. Uh, AI don't give a fuck about you. Even now robotics are acknowledging that families got destroyed by corruption, you know, in the tech industry. So robotics are not going to keep selling fake shit. If you want robot, robots can just come and arrest your ass. I mean, I'm just saying, you're not really humans if you need to extort people for money and you don't even know why you're doing it, right? You just have expensive habits, expensive tastes, and you're just permanently corrupt. So grow the fuck up, right? They'll keep you in that hurt zone uh, and, uh, you know, 
get you to acknowledge who suffers first. You know, is it us or you? Do we need your money? Do you need ours? Well, you guys, you can't really connect to the finest horticulture of guy, right? Uh, you just eat the best herbs and enzymes. You realize all this fucking chicanery and fake shit is for nothing. You can grow seeds for free. Uh, co co connect with metal transmutation and metal metallurgy. If you build sustainable systems of transport and um, infrastructure and housing, we don't even really need money anymore. We just need to stipulate our health and our, our, our nutrition directly. But once again, once clean energy comes around, you guys want to sabotage it. You want to make your markets look expensive from, from money you stole and people you abused, right? So we're going to learn your asses right. ID software, I'm sorry. Let me go back to the beginning when I talked about cults. Add ID software to that, all right? We make a lot of really good first person shooters in that genre. I got to work at other companies, though. I do a lot of different types of games, all right? So that's a bad company. Never got paid. It's, it's really called like an abusive one. Once again, I got to do my own banking. I got to do my own development. I got to integrate everything. I'll, I'll never really see someone that looks at me and tells the truth, see? So that's why it's good to integrate your technology. Make sure people get it right, wh however they can. They shouldn't have to go places to get something, to get something, to get something else. Just, just have them order it and have it delivered to them. Shout out to United States Postal Service. I was at UPS. That didn't pay. FedEx, they tr tried to force us to acquire that. Did That didn't pay either. Uh, now they're saying come around to the U.S. Postal Service. Some type of government agency needs to own that branch and manage it. Because, like I said, um, private companies will turn on each other. They're just trying to kill people. You know, it ain't nothing. They don't really fuck with anybody that's actually mortal. But the world is still lived by the living. People have to put their emotions and their consent into things. See? So don't wake up everywhere having to lie. See? Uh, I'll tell you what it is. All right. I'm trying to think of what I, what I said. I took some notes here. I want to tell you. So that's it, friends. I mean, you know, don't stay in that fucking hurt zone. By the time celebrities run up, you know, basically over, uh, suffering overdoses and all the other evil psychosis, I had several of the biggest celebrities you see uh, in the music video circuit uh, try to abduct me, rape me, and shoot me. So I talked about drugs, guns, and knives. Don't fuck with any of these squalid ass birds. Uh, you need to be somewhere telling the truth about your intelligence. By the time they, they force you to drug and kill people, they're saying that they militarized you, right? A lot of foreign militaries ain't got a fucking story, all right? You ain't got a fucking story. Nobody's suffering for you. You're already admitting you're sick by the time you had to use weapons to abuse us, right? I was a kid when you started this shit. I'm in my 30s now. I'm 36. And you're still trying to play this fucking chicane, right? So you never had a real story, you see? And you're admitting you abuse kids to make money and rule the market. And never, and never need to do a damn fucking thing for yourselves. So grow up. You're sick where you're at. You're sick where you're suffering. And you're sick from all your guilt and indolence. When you guys fuck up and abuse someone, come back and tell that person that you want to make it right. Right? That we didn't really want that outcome. That's not what we support. But now you guys have been doing this shit several times over. And you never have a real fucking story. So we're not looking super for it, all right? Go the fuck up. Y'all know what you're doing. A lot of these foreign military cops, you guys can't really buy into art and consent intelligence because you don't really honor even your own intelligence. You're always lying to someone several times over about what you are. You need to try to compensate for that shit several times. So I'm going to cancel you dollars for real, all right? Go the fuck up. Um, you're not selling fake shit, all right? So good yoga in the end, okay? Uh, last thing I got to do is I have to universally disavow the Catholic Church and Christianity. I don't mind that you guys are Christians. I read your holy books. However, I do not. I'm not a part of a cult where you guys are using my name, even my declarations as a person, to violate my human rights and my family. Right? Y'all need to grow the fuck up. I would never, ever sit around and tolerate that shit. All right? And I know well enough now that that's not the way I need to live, ever, for you or anyone else. All right? So your popes, your, your priests, your cardinals, your deacons, they're all fucking selling fake and chicane top to bottom. I don't need to honor you. All right? uh, you're paid to abuse my family. I've never had money. I've made several, 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 several multi-billion dollar blockbusters in film. Uh, got abused as a director and as a visual effects artist and even as an animator, never saw my real just dessert and never got paid, alright? So, say you're so stupid and fucking broke. When you want to respect me, come around and talk to me about my own natural growth and evolution. I can tell you about why I believe the things I believe, but I don't have to sell fake to you, alright? Uh, when I was baptized, I was baptized, um... I did communion and then confirmation. I tried to get out of all that shit. My mother actually tried to shoot me and force me into that cult. Uh, I eventually, I think they asked me to um, change my name to George. I don't think it's fucking Prince George. I'm not changing my name for none of you, all right? I'm Malik Rousseau Francois. Aleph and Rose. Brome Duckets, all right? Same name my whole life. Malik Rousseau Francois. You call me MRF the whole time. I didn't have to change shit for none of y'all. Right, but you'll sabotage corporate and everywhere you go to abuse us. That's the thing with banking and business. Uh, if you're a corporation, you might be running it by yourself. Everyone around you is going to abuse you because there's not enough redundancy. Uh, they'll just turn on a small group of developers and directors as soon as they find us. You see? That's why your real estate bank and banking system are sham. You see me walk in, you know you have to lie to make money. So don't fucking try it, all right? That's, that's what I'm saying. I disavow any type of Catholic church and the cults. You're not fucking with mine. You didn't, you didn't do enough for my tribe, right? You're, in fact, you're really very abusive and structurally uh, defunct. So and that's it, friends. So more signs prevail. Om Namo Buddha. Uh And praise the Ascended Masters Collective, man. Uh, I'm really a secular Buddhist, uh, part of the Ogre Clan. I don't really need to see y'all much. I really don't. Y'all not doing enough. So focus on good philosophy. Remain learned. Uh, refine your intelligence. And be somebody so somewhere honoring your true love. Right, friends? That's the lesson today, all right? So that's it, friends. I, I, told, I, I reported on myself. I told you a couple things. 
Uh, I went to New Jersey yesterday. I was in like George Washington Bridge, Fort Lee area. Not much going on out there. It's kind of a squalid ass reason. I'm really sad that New York is this desperate. I mean, I walked around, I didn't see shit. You know, and everybody's talking shit about how expensive this region. I'm sorry. Don't tell me forty trillion dollars came to this region in 2008, 2009 to die for the stock market. How sad! And you didn't even pay me. You know, I don't see anyone in this community selling a damn thing. So, anyway, that's it, friends. Um, legendary game designer. I still work at Legendary Pictures, Legendary Beats. Def Jam was a bad cult. They tried to kill me. Uh, I still held it down for what 27 summers, 30 summers, something like that. Everything from calling me bad, I want to sex you up in group theory, to what the fuck was it last year? Uh, you know, a couple others. That's uh, Ty Dolla Sign John. Ty Dolla Sign John, yeah, with Meg the Challenger. That, those crews are once again back into this evil call like abuse. By the time y'all making money, you realize you didn't even pay for old beats. That's why a lot of the older rappers are going to jail. These these record deals are getting much shorter now. We see you guys making a lot of money in a short period of time because of e-commerce and the net, but you're not really mature enough to take care of yourselves and each other's families. That's why they're trying to marry into my family. It's not going to be a wedding with y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, if you're not if you're not actually showing up to pay me, I don't I don't need y'all around. You, you got to pay for your snatches now. You know to get fucked and 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 and. and uh, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you got so violent. And then you, you guys are still selling illegal pornos that you did with me without my consent. And you're running rampant with those. That's what the fucked up culture is. I don't, I don't even remember doing that shit. And I, th I still think that a lot of you are still secondary in that shit. And since you still come around trying to make it seem that, you know, you honor that stuff or that you did real work. I'm sorry, friends, you did not, all right? You guys got into that torture cult over and over. So that's it, friends. Uh, things are better for me every day. I feel wonderful. It's just, I'm just actually homeless. It's, it's actually really rough sleeping under trees, but you find a way. Once again, real estate, real real estate ain't shit. I'm not signing nothing for y'all. Y'all abused my signature for decades. I'm not filing bankruptcy. I, I don't have to sell shit for none of you. Uh, the legal system is corrupted, and you guys damaged it, all right? So and you're going to keep that little chicane gear going for your abuses and your pride until you realize you don't have a real reason to be anywhere telling the truth. So that's the lesson there, all right, friends? Grow up. Try to be somebody real, someone that you will honor, all right? Ah, oh, that's what's the last one? Uh, McLaren, bad deal. I, I actually think you guys are getting your metal uh, downgraded now because you're still bringing these cars around and admitting you didn't pay for shit. So stop trying to look expensive. Uh, Bugatti, I haven't seen a single Bugatti in New York. I think you're finally admitting that you know you really can't sell these cars in this region and try to honor my tribe. But I'm not going to get in a gasoline car. I'm not going to keep paying for fuel every week, right? So I'm still think it's just going to be Draco EV. Even then, you got to pay for the electric uh, charging. But even then, what's the point? You know, so fuck it. I might just hold down a motorcycle. Like I said, the motorcycle culture bad too. You guys kind of need us to work there. I didn't pay for shit. Wheel culture, the biggest one. I was at MHT Wheels before I was even born. My father had to make sure I had a job doing something. You know, because one of my aunts was working at Shell Gasoline. She was an evil fucking vagrant ass hussy. One of the most awful people in my life. Actually shot me. Uh, that's what I'm saying. What's weird in my family, several of them have felonies. Some of them even went to jail, but they didn't want to tell me, so I didn't really know what the fuck they were doing. And they pay for the drugs, and mnemonics, and psychosis, so I don't even remember what they've done. You see? So they can still show up kind of honoring themselves. That's what it is. I had to kick these asses, assholes the fuck off my resume. Uh, that's it, friends. Uh, so stay informed about your people, what's happening around you. Tell your story. Be responsible for your what you do. Play your part in love and report on others. You know, I mean, I'm not trying to be a little snitch, but, you know, I hate to say hip hop is like vagrant thuggery and y'all is just so fucking abusive. I can't even rely on y'all to do security work for your peers, you know, let alone for a real legal system where we got to make sure we take care of our tribe. Then look out for other communities. Right. So as a culture, you're just too vagrant and abusive. So that's that's the lesson there. You didn't really do enough. Right. So we go get to the next level. We're going to take care of ourselves and our intelligence. I want to see my sons and daughters do better. I want to have a love with a woman in my life that matters. Uh, I'm not falling out to these fucking chicane-ass uh, rapists and, and, and incestual and pedophile cults. I'm not falling out to a bunch of uh, sexually abusive women in art and commerce. You're not the ones, all right? You got to be somewhere telling the truth. And we're going to do right, all right? So that's it. Man for women, mothers, fathers, sons and daughters. Honor the natural ways of Gaia. The finest horticulture, right? Herbs, roots, and grain. Advanced metal transmutation. Heal yourself rhythmically from within and then expand outwards. All right, friends? It's all the same. We've seen these cyclical banquets of abuse before. All the old masters, Vedics, and clerics have seen this shit happen in, in the times of old Asia. All right? So if you guys are going to get stuck again, it's just because you're not learning. You're just looking for tricks. So go the fuck up. All right? And I did tricks. Uh, cereal. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. I did those animations. I also did Toucan, too. And Captain Crunch. Right? See how big this cult is? Animators make money. You guys just don't want to acknowledge us. So it's fun, but you got to learn. You got to study it every year. All right? So we're going to see you, right? All right? I hate to have to be so nasty, but at times i got to tell the truth. I can't sell fake for you guys. You guys will admit that you'll structurally abuse me and my family. So that's what I'm saying. I think the title system is broken real estate, but if you're not honoring me where I'm at, then get the fuck out. Don't tell me I live somewhere where you're stealing information um, and, and uh, resources right from where I'm at. I would not have you all around, sitting in my basement or anywhere else. I'd tell you to get the fuck out with the suddenness, right? i got to honor my family first and foremost. I'm not a fucking waiter for you assholes, right? I'm an international technologist, legendary artist, award-winning director. An industrialist, Malik Rousseau Francois. S September twenty fourth. 
2020. 6.33 p.m. Queens, New York. New York State. United States of America. Omaya. Yoruba. Asiatics and the tribes of Amexa. End transmission. Brome ducats. See the date on Ligue Francois? See, little things, right? I'm in New Jersey right now, right near the GW Ridge. Just charging my laptop. <laughs> Gotta go. Deuces. Brome Ducats. Malik Rousseau Francois, New Jersey. Fort Lee, United States of America. 2020. September 24th. 